So if I'm being honest, um, I definitely, there was a stage in my life that was really, really bad. Um, and uh, somehow I came out of that and, and I found photography. And there's something about having that camera in my hand out there, whether it be a, a sunrise or a sunset, I just get out of myself and, and I connect with nature. And um, it's a wonderful thing. And I think it's really, to be honest, to be quite frank, I think it has saved my life. So I get up about 3 a.m. And uh, first thing is Suki and Dante, my dogs, they come down with me. I have my coffee. I'll look through Facebook. Sometimes I've gotten orders during the night. Um, and I just look at things. I see what my notifications were from the day before. I love reading the comments and uh, seeing how many people have responded to whatever the photo was I put up the day before. I got a camera for Christmas one year. It was about eight or nine years ago. I live here on Owasco Lake. Uh, we actually have a pretty nice view here. And I just, I guess, I just uh, started wanting to uh, capture it. Uh, I never had any kind of training or anything like that. I've just been kind of learning as I go along. I typically wake up with a plan in mind. I usually, I look at the weather report, uh, I see what type of a day it is, but then a lot of it is a response to, okay, where are the clouds that day? What direction? I can look at the clouds or where the sun is coming up, what it looks like, and uh, automatically some of the spots that I hit will come into mind and I'll go, okay, you know what? This morning's gonna work out perfect for this scene. There are moments where I know I got something and I know I hit it. It's like it's like scoring a touchdown and, and I know it and I get back home and I can't wait to look at that on a bigger screen. Recently, I took a shot at uh, Long Point and I was laying belly down on some ice to get the right angle. And I knew I had something that was pretty decent. And I looked over to the side of me and I noticed that the ice was up off of the water. And then I also noticed that my leg was getting wet. <laughs> so, and then I heard a <laughs> and it was the ice cracking. So I kind of shimmied my way back. And I mean, I got a nice shot, so it was all worth it. But uh, it can be kind of dangerous if I'm not being careful. So a lot of people that will bump into me while I'm out shooting or whatever will be quite surprised that uh, these are the things I'm using. And I had what I thought was an opportunity once with a businessman, a local businessman. And uh, he wanted me to do some stuff for him. And it involved, we were gonna go eat lunch and talk further on. And uh, he gets into my car and he looks down and he says, oh, is that what you use? And it was this little Canon power shot which I take a majority of my shots with, never heard from the guy again. 